Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about one of the more elusive figures we have discussed in class, Papea, Nero's second wife. Popular culture would have you believe that she was both a murderer and a victim of murder, but we all know by now that there is more to the story. Most of our knowledge of Papea comes from three historians, Tacitus, Suetonius, and Cassius Dio. Pictured here is Agrippina, who you are all familiar with by now. As we know, historians pretty unanimously agree that Nero had his mother put to death. The reasons aren't agreed on, but one common idea is that Papea had a hand in convincing Nero to have her killed. Tacitus, our old friend, depicts Papea as such in Annals. However, Agrippina died in 59 AD, whereas Nero did not marry Papea until 62, which makes it pretty unlikely that she had a hand in Agrippina's death. On top of that, we know that Nero had valid reasons to want Agrippina dead, regardless of Papea's involvement, you know. She was a helicopter parent, an overbearing mother, she tried to control his every move, so naturally Nero wanted to get rid of her. She was also supposedly part of a plot to set Gaius Rubelius Plautus on the throne, although the truth of such involvement is not really verifiable. All in all, it seems pretty unlikely that Papea had a hand in the murder of Agrippina. A second myth about Papea is her involvement in the exile and eventual execution of Octavia. Much like the first myth, most of our information for such an event comes from our old buddy Tacitus, who we know is very biased against both Nero and Papea. The popular portrayal of Papea comes from him, who described her as a cold, calculating woman who seduced Nero and was secretly behind the bad things he did. Here are the facts, as best we can understand them. Nero and Octavia had an unhappy marriage from the very beginning, one that was more of necessity rather than any real form of fondness. Eventually, Nero begins having an affair with Papea while she is married sometime between 58 to 60 AD. He divorces Octavia in 62 AD and marries Papea 12 days later. This myth is perhaps the most difficult to determine the veracity of due to the anti-Papea sentiment we get. See, Octavia was wildly popular with the Roman people and her banishment led to riots from her supporters, which led to the vandalization of statues of Papea. This sentiment reflects in the writings we get from this time period, and so we only ever get a biased image of Papea. She doesn't really fit the cruel calculating portrait that Tassius paints of her, and Nero is clearly unhappy in his marriage to Octavia, which makes it seem more likely that he divorced her of his own accord. A third myth is that Nero killed Papea in some direct fashion. We have very accounts of what actually caused her death, which makes it difficult to determine which one is the real one. According to Suetonius' The Life of the Caesars, while she was awaiting the birth of her second child, she fought with Nero over spending too much time at the races. In a fit of rage, Nero kicked her in the abdomen, killing her. According to Tacitus, Nero's fatal kick was a casual outburst. If we believe Cassius Dio, he says Nero leapt upon her belly with both feet, but does not really state whether it was intentional or accidental. So, which historian is correct? Well, we aren't totally sure, but there is strong evidence to suggest that none of them are. As I'm sure you all know by now, Cassius Dio, Tacitus, and Suetonius were biased against Nero, so it's difficult to gain an accurate portrayal of Nero and Papea's relationship. Logically, it is also impossible for any of these historians to have been able to view a private event, since none of them would have been able to see the alleged kicking, and so these stories appear to be just that. Stories. It is more likely that Papea died due to complications from a miscarriage or a stillbirth, which these historians then twisted into these stories. We do have some pretty strong evidence that Nero cared deeply for Papea. When she died, Nero went into deep mourning, and at her funeral, he not only embalmed her, but also gave her divine honors alongside her first child. On top of that, according to Tacitus, Nero burned a year's worth of Arabia's incense production at her funeral. This fits with the portrayal of Nero as a luxurious tyrant, but if we read against Tacitus, it gives evidence that Nero cared enough for Papea to go to such lengths. This level of grief and tenderness indicates that Nero truly cared for Papea, and as such contradicts the theory that he caused her death. So although we'll probably never really know what happened to Papea, it is far more likely that Nero did not cause her death. Anyways, that's all for today, thanks for watching.